Welcome back, everyone, to Starfield. We're all updated and whatnot, ready to get going. We actually got to return to Mars, to Sidonia. It's been a hot minute since I've been here. Hmm. Sidonia. The UC clings to its old ways. I suspect this soul system would be abandoned otherwise. Yeah. Man, we haven't been here in a hot minute. Alright, so we are heading to rendezvous with Simon Rizik. Rizik. Oh, I love it when security guards give me money and give me compliments. Those are my two love languages. Words of affirmation and money. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's horrible. I haven't been up here, I don't think. I need to find a real I'm curious, bar. like, what's under there? Probably nothing, but... Hey! Hey, Simon! Oh, whoops. Sorry, did not mean to do that. You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going? Sh uh, sure. Uh... You looked like you could use a little friendly conversation? Eh, only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. Oh, is this? Uh. Oh, man, I may be mixing up games. There was a game that I was supposed to remember to say something as a code phrase to somebody, but it's been so long. It's been like two weeks since I've booted up Starfield for the for recording. I've been playing off camera, but just doing random things uh i think it was this one i think it was razor derby is the only real sport oh yeah uh something about razor derby is the best i heard the solar corsairs have the best chance do we really have to do this yeah yeah no razor derby is the only real sport you're damn right it is <laughs> i heard they were sending someone new nice to see you made it I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. Boy, I'm glad I remembered that. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. At least you're being open about the fact that you are gouging us. <laughs> Uh, maybe my friend here can persuade you to reconsider that there, price. Huh? Surely that's negotiable. I like the idea of uh, Andresia speaking up for me. Very well. If we are not presented with a more reasonable offer, we will be left with no choice but to take the information. I don't think Ryujin would be too happy to hear about losing one of their informants. Hmm. Well, I do not work for Ryujin. So I care little what they might think. <laughs> all I care about is a fair price. All right, all right, I get it. You want reasonable? This is as low as I go. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's nothing. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Okay, uh, thank you. I'm sure Ryujin will appreciate it. Oh, they will. All right, listen to the audio file and read Stanley. McMillan's file, okay? What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. He's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. 
I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. Ha! <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally going to put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. Okay, and then we need to read the file. Threat level none. So it's a time stamped schedule. Dropped off by Lieutenant. Okay. Retrieve the Project Dominion files. Over there. Okay. Sometimes it feels like the UC forgets we're out. Hey, boss. Long uh, time no see. One of the earliest shipbuilders and desperate to remain relevant. Don't mind me. Okay. Uh, that's no good. <clears throat> okay, yep, that'll work. Uh, Deimos Star Yard's presentation. Uh, Project Dominion. Hack novice lock, yes. Ooh, I've never seen one of these locked like this. I don't think so. Have we seen a locked file? Because that's pretty cool. Ah, error. Failed to run. Cannot open file. Require, requires additional decryption. All right, download the files. <clears throat> uh, anything else we need in here? Potentially representatives. Meetings. 3 to 5 p.m. Your desk teleconference. Nina Hart, Lucas Drexler. Hey, Stanley, just checking up to make sure you've properly prepared for this meeting. Lucas expects, expects you to be prepared. Be prepared. So be sure to at least be familiar with the reps that are coming. Don't expect me to cover for you this time. Ooh, this time, Nina. Several of our servers will be briefly coming down for maintenance. Below is your itinerary for your upcoming trip to Sidonia. Congrats on the deal, Stan. Told you things would be looking up. This is your chance to get back on track. Drinks tonight, I'm buying. I never had the patience for computer systems. That's why you have me. I wish games would just commit to using the same button for use, right? Because as soon as I, like I grew up, it was always E. It was always E, it was always E. And then for some reason, games started using F. And I get it because some of those games have like lean left and lean right, but a lot of them don't. They don't have a good reason to not just use E. But they insist on using F. And then I get used to doing F in some games for a while. And then I come back to an E-game, and I do this. Hi. Oh, oh, also, Please also. Disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Oh, Vasco, it was fine. I downloaded a really cool mod that I really like. See this gun? Home ship landing ramp remote. That is such a little tiny thing, but I love it. And when you go to leave your ship, if you do it like through the hatch, like you're kind of supposed to, 
uh, immersion wise, but I don't in this ship because I can never remember how to get to it because this ship is a maze. There is a button here. How cool is that? Such a nice little touch. I love that mod. Okay, so we are heading to Ryujin Tower. Okay. Also, there, I think it may be in the beta, but they have added a feature where you can, like, I've got the mod that always displays all of the planet or all of the system names. They've got a button now. I don't know if it's in this version or if it's in the beta that's out, but where you can press a button and it displays uh, all of the system names, which is a great, much needed addition that should have been there in the first place. If you're wondering what that smell is. All your See if I can make it come up. Will it come up on the stream or on the screen? No. An old friend, Turtle Pudding, just followed me on Twitch. I see my activity feed in OBS. Oh, Kenny, I miss you, buddy. That made my day. That has made my day. Also, turtle pudding is still one of my favorite my company's future tags ever. This deal. Handles. Whatever you want to call it. I hate waiting. It's just more time to doubt myself. <laughs> I feel that, buddy. I feel that so much. You, Don't you, wander into any restricted area. Yeah, I was going to ask if you had any sass for me today. Well, that took longer than expected. Okay, look, there were some updates to the game. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. Uh, for what I paid, it better be I was fast and efficient, and you know it. <laughs> You've got a little spark in you. I <laughs> like it. Now, let's see if what Mr. Rycheck found was worth all the fuss. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see. Got the key. Deciphering. And done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. This is a sales initiative for Project Dominion. It's not an Infinity LTD design. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. Okay. Follow mode a Ooh. Follow mode activated. Okay, coming. Don't cause any trouble. Would you? Mm. I am Ularu. What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> We need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Hmm. Uh, we can't allow the mole to get their hands on any more information. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines. 
our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. All right, so now we need to, what are we doing? Mission updated background checks. Whee! Ryujin CEO is no joke in the boardroom. Oh, going this way. Oh. Oh, what's this? I see glowing, but hello? That's a really oddly placed, like, light. Like, the screen's not that bright to be doing all that. Anyways, hi. If only there were more hours in the day. Yeah, you... Oh, wow. That's a cool-looking screen. Okay, sorry. Getting distracted. Ah, Dalton. Good. You're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia... I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry, we're going to take care of it. We certainly are. I don't trust him. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her, but he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. I specialize in unusual assignments. <laughs> uh, yeah, why is Ularu a special case? Ularu has the ability to thwart any investigation, so it's imperative she knows nothing about this directive. Her knowledge and talents are why she's the chief of operations. So she is the best equipped to evade detection. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I take it this Nix is a trustworthy source? We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case... It's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program completely off the books. This means your key card Ooh. will be turned off and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. Here we go. This is the mission I've been waiting for. Uh, I'm looking forward to infiltrating my own place of work. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst case scenario turn up. All right, I'll be careful. Don't worry. We will make a concerted effort to avoid direct conflict as much as possible. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. I got it, don't worry. In fact, as much as I appreciate the words of your associate here, you may be better off heading in alone. I probably will, actually. Any precautions to mitigate risk should be taken. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. Nice, so we got a Nova Disruptor, which is kind of a non-lethal damage thing, is the idea. Uh, oh, what are you? Dalton's computer. Why don't you have your computer at your desk? I mean, now this is a standing desk if I ever seen one. The problem is, if you're here typing, you gotta like, walk over. Ah, yes, 1.5182. Walk over, 
1.51. Oh, they don't even have number pads? Bless them. I'm so sorry. Well, I guess it's your fault. It's kind of your department. Kind of. Uh, anyways, that'll do it for today. I need to keep uh, my episodes shorter because uh, I'm, I'm realizing I have limited time between taking the kids and picking up the kids my from school. So I've got to start right. shooting for like 20 minute videos, which I hate for some games like Baldur's Gate 3. But it must be done. So we will see you all next time. Thanks as always for watching. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs>